I just need more people to see you for who you really are. My true color is your father. In Chinese culture, saying "I am your father" is a way to express anger. This is one of the most circulated internet memes in China this June. The man is Wang Xiaotong, the only son of China's richest man, and the woman is a young online celebrity. On June 15, the young celebrity posted dozens of pages of Wang's chats with her during his pursuit of her, instantly setting off a tsunami in the online community in China. People thought the scandal would destroy the girl, but it turns out more people have come around to support her. The son of the richest man, however, was caught in limbo for the first time, and more trouble seems to be waiting for his family. Wang's father, Wang Jianlin, surpassed Li Jiaxing for the first time in 2015 to become the world's richest Chinese on the Who Run Global Chinese Rich List. In 2021, Wang's Dalian Wanda Group acquired AMC, the world's second largest theater company, for US 2.6 billion. It was the largest corporate acquisition by a private Chinese company in the U.S. Wanda Group subsequently promoted AMC to a successful IPO and merger, making AMC the world's largest movie theater chain. In 2017, the title of China's richest man shifted to Wang's rival. However, the public is still accustomed to seeing Wang as the son of the richest man in China. On Wikipedia. Wang is described as the only son of the former richest man in the Chinese-speaking world, the richest man in China, and an internet sensation. Wang Xiaotong attended Winchester College and the University College London in the Department of Philosophy before returning to China. He declared on several occasions that he practices non-marriage or otherwise dating only without getting married. The mainland media has done a count on the 33-year-old. So far, he has publicly admitted to having had 19 girlfriends, most of whom are online celebrities in China. Had this online celebrity, known as Sun Yingning, agreed to be his girlfriend, she would likely have been Wang's 20th girlfriend. Sun is 22 years old. Four years ago, before she was 19 years old, she became popular online because of her pretty face. She attracted Wang's attention then, but rejected his pursuit. Later, it was revealed that Soon received money from an advertiser, about 3,000 RMB, but did not provide timely promotion. When exposing Soon's negligence, the advertiser tagged Wang on the matter. Soon apologized and explained that she was enjoying herself and got too lazy and procrastinated. But the pressure of public opinion caused by such exposure made the girl disappear from the online community for four years. Four years later, in April 2021, Soon changed her name and went back to live streaming on the internet, becoming popular again. Oddly enough, the son of the richest man was once again attracted to this new online celebrity and gave her gifts during the live broadcast. But quickly, Wang realized that this was the girl who had rejected him before. So Wang wrote a threatening phrase in the girl's live stream and under her Weibo page, "The internet has no memory." Wang was reminding the girl, "I recognize you, even when you take on a new identity. I know everything about you from four years ago." Surely, she had understood what he meant and ended her live stream session promptly. Why does this statement carry so much weight? Because Wang is not only the son of the richest man in China, but also a celebrity with some of the highest online traffic on the mainland. Any slightly entertaining gossip posted by Wang can flood the Chinese web in an instant. The girl bawled her eyes out during a live broadcast in the early morning of June 15. She then posted two scolding messages directed at Wang. Wang responded online that he would compile Sun's dirt and publish it the next day. On the afternoon of the same day, before Wang made his move, the girl posted more than ten pages of chat history on the internet on how Wang had pursued her from April to June 15. This is a smart move, but it was risky at the time. The girl's online career may be ruined if she couldn't win public support in her exchange with Wang. The chat history shows that after recognizing the girl and sending threatening messages, Wang requested to meet her in Shanghai. Before that, Wang claimed on social media that he usually only needed one sentence when pursuing a woman. It is, "Hello, I'm Wang Xiaotong." 
The chat history showcases Wang's use of language, such as "Let me love you well" and "I'll raise you, silly." These words left ordinary Chinese in a stupor as they read them. They got a sense that the son of the richest man was not that different from them after all, saying similar stuff as they would have said in a relationship. The girl carefully and repeatedly apologized for what happened in the past and admitted her mistakes. In the face of Wang's renewed pursuit, the girl again refused politely. She explained, "Possessiveness and fights, which are part of a relationship, are not allowed in your case. The words peace of mind and security are not part of your romance, but they are especially important to me." And there is no way to be my complete self with you. The chat also included dialogues that made netizens burst out laughing. You don't know how to feel protective of others. If you need someone to feel protective of you, we can be extinct. You're seventy-five kilograms, and you need someone to care for you. On May seventeen, Wang lost his patience and cursed. I will let everyone know what you are. And he sent the girl a picture that looked cute but was rather scary. The girl dared not black out Wang, responding, "What you do not want, do not do to others. It's a pity that you always give to others, but no one dares to displease you." Wang sent the picture of the little yellow duck again. Wang continued to harass while threatening, "I will make you the happiest woman." I'm happy enough now. If I'm any happier. I will faint. Finally, by June fifteen, Wang declared that the girl should wait to be hammered. Soon, finally, returned the favor with the same intensity as Wang. I just need more people to see your true colors. My true color is your father. Okay, Sun Ning. The evil capitalist. After the release of the chat history, a tsunami swept through the internet in China. Numerous internet articles say. Even the richest man's son is a licking dog. Those ordinary but overconfident men have no right to be proud. In such articles, Wang is mocked as a dumb but sweet character. Other articles claim that the girl has a dark history. She schemes, using the incident to raise her online profile, and so on. There are also a few sensible voices pointing out Wang has never loved the girl. Perhaps he doesn't even like her that much. Wang's chats are just part of the love game in their social strata. If you think the danger the girl faces is merely cyberbullying, that's not what the little yellow duck means. For now, the girl should be safe, despite the fact that she is still under attack by the Internet Water Army, a group of internet ghostwriters paid to post online comments. She has won the support of real internet users. Most importantly, the Chinese state media has spoken out, commenting that Wang's actions have overstepped the normal boundaries of love between men and women. He is playing in a dangerous zone at the edge of the law and morality. The official Chinese media has helped cool down this online controversy by speaking out. Some people have put up a big banner in front of Wanda Plaza, the Wang family's property. If you know more about the current predicament of China's former richest man, you will probably understand why the Chinese public and official media have the odd opportunity to do justice. On May 25, 2012, Dalian Wanda Group announced its complete withdrawal from the board of directors of AMC, the world's largest movie theater chain, and divested most of its holdings, liquidating U.S. 1.476 billion. According to estimates, Wanda Group has liquidated about RMB 20.696 billion in its sales of overseas assets. Some scholars believe that the rise and fall of China's richest man, Wang Jianlin, is tied to the Communist Party's economy and its elite faction. Wang Jianlin started his fortune in China as a real estate developer. If he had not had the backing of the powerful and wealthy politicians in China, he would not have been able to get stunning loans from Chinese banks as an ordinary businessman. Multiple factions exist within the Chinese Communist Party. Wang relied on former party leader Jiang Zemin. By taking out massive loans, Wang was able to liquidate the assets of the enterprises into dollars and took them abroad for investment. 
The current regime has discovered that Wang is probably laundering money and transferring Chinese domestic assets overseas. If his family immigrated out of China, the enormous debts left in China would have to be picked up by the current regime. As a result, word has spread that Wang and his family have been restricted from leaving the country. When such news was circulating online, this richest man in China was seen in public with drastic changes in his outer appearance. In a country without the rule of law, it is not very realistic for business people to expect to conduct business normally. In the current political environment in China, capital seems to be the original sin of everything. From 996 working hours, which means working from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. six days a week, lying flat, which is a non-cooperative movement among the young people in China, sudden deaths at the workplace due to overworking, high housing prices, to the growing disparity between the rich and the poor. They can all be blamed on the capitalists, according to the propaganda of the Chinese Communist Party. The use of the capitalist label allows the public to vent, distracting them from the real factor behind their struggles, the CCP. Hence, if the Chinese official media labels someone as a capitalist, it means that they can be condemned and denounced, serving the socialist flag. In the recent past, entrepreneurs who have been labeled as capitalists include Alibaba's founder, Jack Ma, Tencent CEO, Pony Ma, and most recently, Zhang Yiming, the founder of ByteDance. So, when the Chinese media and the public are allowed to voice that the Wang family is a capitalist, using power and money to oppress the people, the father and son know what it means. At this point, such labeling is more dangerous than being called a hooligan. Nowadays, Wang Jianlin keeps a low profile and is more often seen in the public eye doing charity work to help the poor in a remote province in China. He told the media, The person I dread most is my son. No matter how successful and powerful you are, in his eyes, you are only his father. It's clear that this father pampers his child. The problem brought to the Wong family by the son's love dispute is far from over. <laughs>